I got you guys a present. Oh, nice of you. Oh, beautiful. Thanks. I got them at State Fair. Julia, how are you? I'm well. Um, were you aware that you might be running this meeting tonight? No. Like, uh, be <laughs> filling in for okay. president? Yeah. No. no, she emailed uh, Stephanie and said that she uh, may not be able to make it tonight. Okay. So you'll be great. Uh, <laughs> you'll do fine. Yes, yes, for sure. Here I go. Well, thank you, Jeanette. Oh, it's so sweet. That's so fun. Oh, look at that. The DNR. Yeah, I always go to the DNR building when I'm at the fair. Oh, I like the fair. I need to be back there. Got a lot of good advice. Oh, it's the same thing. Yeah, got a lot of good advice on it. And here, here's what they say is the latest. No, it's gonna, not the same. It's thing. not. Not exactly. Here's what they say is going to be the next Emerald Ash. I saw that on. Lantern. Lantern. I only got three or four of those. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with either. I always, I always put it somewhere, like on my calendars. Because <laughs> I, but I think I've seen these spotted lantern flies before. But anyway. what are we supposed to do? Squish them? Yep. Yeah, yes. Kill them. Because they say they're gonna be the next. Said in the last This is a piece of crap. I love the state fair. Well, I went every year because somebody was always showing cattle down there. Well, this is the first year that nobody has because Miller's a junior in college. So, but so I just I went with my sister and a friend, and we just wandered around everywhere. It didn't have any deadlines or anything. Just yeah. kind of wandered around. The trolley is free this year. You don't have to pay for that. I mean, we were around, rode around the fairgrounds twice just because. <laughs> just because it is. <laughs> because yeah. good. Yeah. I don't see uh, carry online uh, or. Evan or Jeff. Um, so, but I mean, we don't have anything that's contentious or anything. So, I mean, if Jeff isn't able to join in, we'll be fine. So, because we have forum, but yeah, you know, because decide. if you record something that, I mean, if there is anything contentious, then we can always table that to mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Anything that's coming yeah. up, we could, we could do that. So, um, but yeah, if you want, uh, we can go ahead and get started. Eighteen minutes or in the drive if you want to look at that for a few or
I haven't been down Franklin Street, but they did start planting trees, didn't they? Yeah. Not yet. Nope. Nope. Mm -hmm. Not yet. It'd be end of September. Oh, we'll okay. talk about that tonight. Okay. Yeah. End of right. September, early October. We don't have any others joining in, so okay. we don't have to start yeah. okay. officially call the order the meeting, you know, whatever kind of thing, and then call and walk through. Okay. okay, let's go ahead and call this uh, meeting to order. Uh, we establish roll call. Julia Beebe here. Ned is well here. Joe Scott here. Uh, Joe Scott is our newest member. Uh, she was just appointed August the 5th, I believe, mm -hmm. was the official date of that. And um, so welcome. Thank We're you. so excited to have you a part of the board. I think uh, be back. Joe is, uh, yeah, you served um, for a few years there. Well, I filled, and, I filled out hiding the clinics. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Finish that term. Term. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, glad to have you back because I know you're going to be wonderful to have on board. And this Great. is a tree board handbook that the Arbor Day Foundation provided us. Okay. Jeanette had picked it up at some point and brought it in and yeah, and shared it with us. We're like, well, we all want one. Yeah. So they were gracious to send each one of you a copy. Right. So that's your copy to take home. Just, just full of information. Yes. Yeah. Um, Joe has already um, submitted a handwritten oath of office. So the verbal is icing on the cake. It's not mandatory. Now, in order to vote, if the handwritten one had not been completed, then you'd have to do it verbal with an attorney okay. um, but uh, or a, a notary public. Mm -hmm. um, but since you already have gotten that taken care of, you're good to go and you can vote tonight. Okay. So, so we don't have to go in. I mean, if you want to do it just for the sake of uh, repeating, you can, um, but we're not official to where it would even have any standing uh, okay. on that though, but, um, but welcome. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. Who would like to make a motion to approve the minutes? I'll make a motion to approve minutes for the July meeting. I'll second. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. All in, no one uh, all in favor of the approving last month's meeting minutes? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Yep. Motion carried. Yep. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, and then we can introduce the old business and okay. question, and I'll take it from there. Okay. Um, for our old business last week, we talked about having a Facebook page. We haven't, uh, we talked about we had to update uh, between the eBiz and having our intern mm -hmm. run that for us. Yes, yes, uh -huh. that is correct. Um, at last month's meeting, I read it, uh, I okay. read it the minute it. before yep. it came. Yep. So I kind of had it ahead. I think that's that. awesome. Great. Um, so between our last meeting and this meeting, uh, we had hoped to have it launched. Um, but a couple things happened. Um, I came down with COVID, um, found out the day after, you know, so, um, so between that and then I had a vacation and then Reese, our intern, a uh, wonderful young man, um, he was wrapping up some other projects that he had uh, to finish up before he went back to school. He, well, I actually took a break and I believe he's on a little trip at New York uh, right now. And then he's going to start IU this next week. So he will start working remotely again for us on the 22nd of August. Okay. So we communicated on that, uh, his classes, just to kind of get some time to adjust. Uh, he felt that September 1st will be a good launch date. In your packet, I have a picture of what um, the Facebook is live. Um, I I think there's like one friend and that's me. So I joined it. I, I did request Did you? I did. Oh, you found it? Oh, okay, cool. Yes. Okay. So 
I just have one little kind of preliminary uh, message on there. Um, the images can be completely changed. We'd love to have your input. I took an image of our town's website um, that we had that has the town logo, and then it has some trees and some of the homes kind of in the background. It's not as clear as I'd like, so I would I want to work with our IT to see if I can get that to also, instead of having to click it to see the full image, I also want to see if I can size that down. So I want to work on that. And then for now, I just have a simple tree um, off to the side, uh, but it was kind of uh, bright and, and uh, I uh, thought it was just a good simple tree, but we can change that uh, picture over time if we want to change it according to a project or say fall or seasonal type image of a tree, whatever you'd like, we can definitely change that. Um, but the name of the Facebook is Pendleton Indiana Urban Forestry. So that's what you would go to to look it up. Uh, could not put the town of Pendleton. It wasn't accepting it as a name. So the first name is Pendleton, Indiana Urban, and last name is Forestry. So it works. It's connected to my town's email and uh, our uh, login information that we use here for the town. Um, so it will carry on, you know, if anything changed, you know, down in the future. But I will be getting that to Reese, and between him and I, we will get our first official post on the 1st of September. And um, we also kind of talked about the communication piece. I would definitely love to have any ideas or content that you would like to have placed on the Facebook page. However, I think, you know, to be courteous to him instead of getting hit from different, you know, individuals, uh, keeping it to your filter through me um, or maybe one representative from the board if that's something that they want to do. So open to do how, you know, however you'd like to have that handled. Um, but I think that that would make it easier for him. Uh, Reese is the type of person that he is a people pleaser and he's going to work very hard to make this really fun and creative. Um, and we had expressed to him that we only, ex you know, that expect, but we're only looking at one post a week. So we don't want to go out above and beyond that too often. So if he gets different ideas and this and that, he's probably going to want to try to plug in and, and do more. And we really want to just kind of keep it. I think once a week would be a good exposure for now. And if we can build on that in the future, that would be wonderful. Um, but uh, to kind of get us up and going, looking at one post a week and um, we like to highlight different projects, uh, different tree plantings that we have. Carol Hanna had brought up about having a revisit to that recovery tree project and showing how a tree looked maybe at the beginning and maybe a story that a, a resident would like to share personally. <coughs> Just have some nice uh, touches uh, that are personal to the town, but then also talk about education and how to care for your tree properly, how to plant the tree properly, what are those benefits? So there's a whole gamut of things out there that I'm also in the process of learning that we can share with our community and kind of help build awareness of our committee and what you all do, but also at the same time, educate them and give them a fun resource to go to. Does anyone have any questions on the Facebook? page itself, but I uh, would encourage you to go in there and uh, share it, uh, share it on your Facebook. It's the post that's on there now is just uh, kind of keep an eye out. Uh, it's, you know, it's coming type thing. And, uh, and if there's something there before that goes, uh, not say live, it's live, but no, not many know about it. Um, we can make changes to it if you'd like. But if you can go on there tonight and take a look at it, that'd be great. Okay. That's kind of exciting. You have that. I know. I'm like getting like excited. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah. I think. And we've got a lot of neat things that's coming up that'll be a nice place to be able to. And we can always share some of this stuff too on the town website. And I think that we should, uh, you know, highlight some <coughs> of the activities. But uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a good thing. Um, if you don't have any questions, the next uh, item on the list for old business is tree management plan and tree keeper. Uh, Davey Resource, um, 
don't really have a lot to add to this tonight, but Davy Resource Group was the group that worked with us that they developed and provided the tree keeper software as well as a tree management plan that was put into place in 2016. The management plan is uh, due for an update. So our goal is, is to get that rolling early 2023. So the consultant that we have is Erin Flint. She's a wonderful person. She's uh, been great for the town of Pendleton over the last several years, and she is on maternity leave. And she wasn't able to get us the quotes beforehand, but she promised that she would have them to us by the end of October when she returns. And those two quotes, one will be for what it would be for them to update that management plan. And then also the second part, which I think would be wonderful to add to the town of Pendleton, we have a plant growth management crew that is hired by the town through our electric department. And they go through and they are clearing out all the trees, trimming back, clearing out brush and so forth on utility easements and under utility electric lines. What she had offered to do is to create a five-year cycling program with them to kind of be ahead of them as far as they can go through and split our entire jurisdiction into five sections and then each year take one of those five sections as a focus and then assess what trees need to be trimmed, removed, cared for, um, and then also look at those voids in those areas that they could use some more uh, tree replacements. And then advise us on the planning department side as well as work with the consultant with plant growth management and making sure that that communication is relayed to them as well so then they they too will kind of have more information about our needs and they can better plan and then also communicate back of what trees were removed so we can remove those from our tree keeper program. Because right now that's not happening. We'd love to have that be more efficient in the program. Mm -hmm. But um, but she would like to come in. She said either November or December. She said that she'll get back with me in October and we'll get her on the agenda here and she can present uh, those two pieces as well as give us an idea of what it, the roadmap's gonna look like for that management plan update. That's all I have on that. The third piece for old business is the stormwater uh, MS4 or the stormwater tree planting initiative. Love to see this get launched in 2023. And kind of briefly hit on that last month. I have more work to do on that. But our Madison County MS4 partnership has three programs, community outreach programs, that we need to host a year to meet our new general permit through the MS4 uh, governing authorities, and uh, which is IDA. So one of the three, we're going to be doing it this coming Saturday. It's going to be the White River uh, clean out. Uh, we're going to have canoes going through there. Um, these pamphlets, which I'll show you here in a second, though, those are going to be handed out. Um, just giving a good awareness of stormwater and what the effects of litter can have on our clean, you know, clean waterways and so forth. But that will be the first focus. Then um, we need to add two more. So just kind of thinking about the trees and what the benefits that they offer to stormwater and runoff control, thought it would be wonderful, excuse me, wonderful to have um, a project this next spring, which would give us the winter to plan for. And also was inspired by an idea that Reese had that he had been looking into rain barrels and those benefits. And he put that on the planning department page and came to me and said, hey, what do you think about us sometime having a program that we can have some of the residents buy a rain barrel? And if they buy a rain barrel, then maybe we can have a group or a school paint them or artists in the community, and then we'll give them a free tree. I thought, wonderful mm -hmm. idea. It's a great and, idea. Uh, <laughs> so exciting, you know, and I thought, ah, I love you, you know. So, um, so then with kind of adding that to the thought that Oh, it would be wonderful to have mm -hmm. the Madison County all involved in this, kind of thinking about how we can pull all those pieces together. Mm -hmm. So they, uh, they were going to have a set or August meeting, but um, it's not until September. So in September, 
September the 21st, we are um, going to have our next quarterly meeting with the eight communities that we have. And they're listed there. It's from Alexandria, Anderson University is involved. We got Town of Ingalls, we got Chesterfield, Edgewood, and then the Town of Pendleton. And then we have the unincorporated Madison County. And then we also have the city of Anderson. So they're all a part of an MS4 partnership. And what that allows is there's pieces of our MS4 permit that require um, those outreach programs and the education piece to contractors that it's tough for a lot of small towns to be able to pull all that mm -hmm. off. So what we do collaboratively counts and it checks it off for all of us. So that's, that's kind of the purpose of that partnership. And so next month, I'm going to kind of put together a little presentation or proposal to them to suggest that we do a stormwater initiative relating to tree planting in the springtime but then pull it in to our 2023 celebration of the Madison County Bicentennial, which at 200 you know, yeah. years. So thinking that if we committed to planting 200 trees in the entire county in the spring of 2023, that puts us each at planting about 25 trees, which is doable. Very doable. Yeah, yeah, very doable. So, um, so thinking that we can give the education piece to it um, to the community, we can you know commit to planting those trees, um, as well as we could broaden that. If we want to go above and beyond that and plant more, if we get more funding, I would like to apply for Arbor Day Foundation to assist in this. I've already communicated with the representative, and she had confirmed that those that program, which was the same program that we got the tree recovery project for. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, in the application process, it, it gives the hint and it makes it appear that it has to be in response to some type of tragedy um, or like a tornado or hurricane or something of that sort. But there is an other, and she said she loves the idea. She encouraged us to present that idea to be a, a county stormwater um, effort uh, in tree plantings and just letting trees be of resolution to stormwater issues. Um, so she highly encouraged us to move forward with it. Um, don't know how much we could get, but we could probably get um, a good number of one to five gallon uh, bucket trees. Um, the next size is from six to 12, I think. So I think that, you know, it'd be very, uh, it seems promising that uh, we could get some support from there, whether we just do that on our own or I, but I would love to embrace the entire county mm -hmm. in on that. And if we can, each of us match part of it and then they provide the rest, you know, mm -hmm. we'll work out those Who's details. the person that you contact at the Arbor Day Foundation? It is Shannon Jerram, Jerome. It's J-E-R-R-A-N. And Shannon is S-H-A-N-N-O-N. And she is from Omaha, Nebraska. And uh, so beautiful place we work talk virtually, but um, very, very nice. Her the whole team has been, Alana Tucker was the one that provided the book. She's been very helpful. And then um, Matt Spitzen, which I'll talk about him in a little bit, um, working with him with some educational resources. So they seem, they love trees. They're very passionate about it. And it just comes through with their willingness to help out, answer questions and help small communities like us. But uh, um, but then also I'd love to incorporate those rain barrels. Uh, that was a great idea. There's an image of kind of what those rain barrels look like. Um, I'm not quite sure how uh, how would be best to add that piece, that element to it, but maybe it could be where we can get one thought was a nonprofit that might want to purchase an X amount of rain barrels, have artists or have students paint them and then put them up for an auction for a another a benefit or something. Mm -hmm. uh, so I thought that might be an option that uh, would work versus having the resident having to pay for it because I don't want them to have to pay to be able to participate. Right. So, um, but I would love to still keep that uh, as a piece of that project. And then as well, the MS4 partnership, this is a great pamphlet and I'm gonna try to get more 
but I'm not quite for sure. I think they were, they had some leftover. This website is no longer valid because they had their the ownership of the website website was going to have to change. So they were working on getting a new website. Um, so they were going to create some new pamphlets, but I thought it's very cute. Um, it's very relatable. It's, you know, easy to read type image, mm -hmm. but it just breaks it down of the effects mm -hmm. of runoff and, uh, you know, how it affects, you know, our water and our clean our waterways. So, um, but, you know, it might be something that we can pass these out as well. Mm -hmm. So, it may I was just going to say that I've always heard that um, the, you can always tell areas and communities that take that really take care of their stormwater runoff by looking at the like a creek or a river that is that gets most of their stormwater stuff and um that is a sure i mean like if you look at fall creek or just i'm gonna just use her fall creeks are runoff thing that they that most people can tell people who know what they're looking for can tell whether you've got your stormwater um under control or not and um and i know there's certain portions of white river that i think not so much around anderson but closer to indy and everything that they've had it's been very noticeable you know that they don't have that under control so I just think there's so many things that in this MS4 pro that you could maybe bring up several different, like climate change, uh, you know, the the effect that climate change has on um, our waterways and our stormwater and, you know, all these different big storms we're having and then two weeks later we're having a drought, you know, that type of stuff. Yeah, I think sure. you can use a lot yeah. of that. Yeah. And the Absolutely. predictions that they've got out now about what's going to happen, say, 20 years from now, I mean. You don't want to even read it, do you? <laughs> You're listening to hear it. I heard it on uh, NPR. They had this thing that, now I forget how many years it was, but they are predicting that like 35% of a population in a certain area is called um, weather migration that they are going to have to migrate from where they live to another area of, and this is worldwide, to another area simply because of the climate change and the, the drought or it drought sure. or too much water. Sure. I mean, they use yeah. Florida as an example is too much water that's swallowing up all the beach, but then they use Southwest United States and that stuff as, as a, an area where weather migration is going to affect i mean yeah, there's yeah. just so many things that people need to be aware of that yeah. and it, you're um, right yeah it's just and i think you could work that some of that stuff without getting real controversy or political yeah. or anything yeah. yeah but yeah. i think you could work a lot of that into like little snippets of mm -hmm. yeah and we are very fortunate here when we get to like a prairie creek and then we have fall creek that you know our water is you know mm -hmm. we, we have that spill off or they spill off but we don't have a lot of high industrial businesses or companies that you know that have a risk factor you know that can contaminate um you know our waterway but you know you do you get indianapolis you have you know and then anderson one of their biggest troubles with white river is the home yeah, and never thought about that until they were discussing it. And they just said, "Yes, with the litter and different things, that it's you know it is hard to to keep it." Yeah, there's all kinds of things that affect that that you wouldn't you wouldn't even think about it. But then once you hear it, you think, "Well, that makes sense." Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that rain barrel idea because too. you know it's like this topic is seen so big that people are like. I don't know what I could do. Yeah, like what am I yeah, well, yeah. This having a rain barrel at your house is simple, mm -hmm. but it really helps. Yeah. You know, it really makes you aware and you stop to think about your water use. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. You know what would be cool on the rain barrel things? Go beyond uh, individuals, you know, and hit up some of the, yeah. the museum. A really cool decorated yeah. rain barrel at the mm -hmm. museum 
some businesses around town and make it. Yeah, there's a lot of businesses around town that have flowers that they water. Yeah. They could use water from there. I mean, just all those kind of things. You could turn it into a yeah, yeah, yeah fun thing to do. Yeah, it is amazing. You the know, schools, I mean, yeah. you, you, you could spread it all over the place. Yeah. That's, and I like the idea of somebody coming and decorating, maybe like the the art uh, classes at the high school mm -hmm. and across the street. Yeah. Or you could, you could have, like you said, a contest. Oh, I think that sounds like a great idea. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just like, the more I think about it, it just, it is exciting. He, so, he did good. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's like when he came in my office, I was like, oh, yeah. So it's like, this would be perfect. Oh, uh, yeah. So we've got to make this work somehow. Oh, yeah. They, they're just, they're beautiful and they're also different. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, I just think that uh, the community would really gravitate to that. Mm -hmm. And I love the idea of the commercial end as well. Yeah. Yeah, even up there at the log cabin for the butterfly garden. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You could use that just about anywhere. Yeah. 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 Everybody has downspouts just about. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, our meeting will fall right um, before the MS4 partnership meeting. So that'll be my goal to have something, some type of slideshow, of just at least a concept to them. You know, doesn't mean that we'd be you know, constrained to what those you know what is being presented they may come up with some other great ideas of how they'd like to add to it or whatnot but hopefully it'd be enough of it to get them excited about it as well and i think if even if they're not of interest it doesn't seem fitting i'm new to that group um, then i'm sure we could do that on our own sure. you know, as well so yeah brainstorming is not going to hurt anything yeah yeah it just okay. brings more newer ideas yeah <laughs> Anyone have any questions or anything on that piece? And then the last piece um, for old business, um, this is where I uh, would love to have your input. So in your pamphlet um, packet there, and then I also have the sheet here. I've been working with Bill, uh, You don't have it. Are you talking about this pamphlet? Well, from um, the last time, or print one, but it, it uh, in your Google Drive. There's also if you go out of go out of this. Let's see. Are you in? Oh yeah, it should yeah. be farther down. So we can find it. Right here. So so that's that's our old business okay. here, and then and then right here is this section here. But I printed off for you. Make sure because it fell off the table here. Would you have a printed sheet for this? Because Thank you. I would like for the three of you to help make the decision on what trees we're going to plant on Franklin Street. So these are nine trees that between Bill and I at Bluegrass Farms, we narrowed down to what we felt would be fitting for a street tree. The criteria for a street tree uh, we definitely need to keep to a small tree, but specifically for a street tree, we uh, want it to be Indiana native, uh, non-invasive, of course. We also want a diverse selection. So I told them at, at, the, at the beginning, I said, you know, if you could take a look at it, I sent them pictures of Franklin Street, the size of those islands, mm -hmm. um, kind of mentioned, you know, what the utilities were around that area. If you could just give us about five or six different choices. So from there, we just had a ball. I mean, he would send me some pictures and send me some other items. Then there were some that I wasn't quite sure if they were fitting. And then he'd send me a couple other options. And then I'd fall in love with those. So <laughs> we ended up coming up with about nine that uh, we think that, you know, that they will have available that will work well. Most of them will be a container tree. It's difficult for one of those burlap bag type trees to fit in a right of way or for our guys to work around things. There is one option in there that is a burlap tree and that is the snow crab tree. Talk about that here in a little bit. 
Um, but he said it, they have some smaller options. So he said they're wide enough, they'll be completely fine to put that in there. Mm -hmm. Got permission from Rick to move forward with that option if you're, uh, if you, uh, you know, like that one as well. But um, the trees themselves will grow between 20 and 30 feet high max. Um, that will be at the end of their life. Um, that would be the tallest that they'd get. Most of them are in the range of 25 to 30. And then they'll grow anywhere from about 12 to 18 inches a year until they're fully grown. The, there is a couple there that indicates that they could go up to 20, 24 inches a year. Um, but for the most part, um, the average is 12 to 18 inches per year. So that's kind of what our criteria um, was. I sent them the list of our tree approved list that we have. However, it is very limited. And I'd like to work on that eventually, uh, especially now that we've got a really good working relationship with Bluegrass Farms. They are wonderful with advisement and they've opened up some windows of some other options. Uh, we also have a maple, maple on our list and we do wanna stay away from that. He originally had suggested a red maple and I think they're beautiful. They're beautiful in the fall, mm -hmm. um, but we are over our uh, diverse, uh, percentage yeah. on that. So we do have to stay away from, from that one. We can add the red bud. Originally that one was over, but now with the tornado and we had some that were up there at Heritage Way, those have been removed. So we can uh, choose a, a red bud. But on your uh, sheets there in front of you, what uh, the pictures show is that the, say the very top, uh, tree. The one to the left is what the tree looks like in the spring. And then the picture to the right is what it looks like in the fall. And then there in the information, it gives the name of the tree. And then just kind of a little bit of a summary of what type of bloom, approximately when it blooms, uh, or maybe perhaps not blooming. And then just, you know, what color it looks like in the fall, what, what color or leaf, um, foliage that it produces. Um, the, I do want to bring out or uh, bring to your attention that spring snow crab is a, it does not bear fruit. So it will not create those big crab apples. Good. <laughs> so when he first presented it to me, I was like, oh no, we can't, you know, and he said, these are fruitless. He said, and then um, the two hawthorns at the end are also both thornless. So they will not produce thorns as well. There are a couple in there that produce a very, very small red seed type thing, but they don't stain. Um, one I think comes in at the fall, between fall and winter. Um, that one is the thornless uh, hawthorn on the second page. And then uh, I'm trying to remember which other one. I think it was, yeah, that Crusader Coxfur hawthorn, which I think is a beautiful tree. Um, it does also have a, a dark red fruit in the fall, but um, but again, they're not they're not going to stain um, mm -hmm. and uh, and produce a lot of uh, droppings or anything like that. Uh, there is a total, like I said, there's a total of nine. <clears throat> Majority of those nine are, um, which I believe there's seven of them that bloom sometime in the spring. Um, one of them uh, blooms even, it's the lilac tree that blooms in June to July. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, and those have a wonderful fragrance. Oh, yeah. There's a couple of those Beautiful. that have really strong fragrance that are wonderful. Um, and then two of them do not bloom. So the two that don't bloom is the fronds, uh, fontaine. Um, do me a favor and don't Google what a fronds fontaine looks like. Because if you look at it, it looks like a bush. Uh -huh. And it almost looks like it doesn't even have a tree trunk. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I don't know. I mean, it'd be kind of neat, I guess I could decorate like a Christmas tree or put lights on it, but I just didn't know as far as visibility that concerned mm -hmm. me. And he said, they do not sell that at all, um, that version of it. And he sent me um, the tree um, that I have there. So he promised me that uh, it was not, but a lot of them do look like that, but their particular species does not. I'm kind of surprised that the 
red buds back on the list, but mm -hmm. I always, I think red buds are pretty true. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, it actually dropped quite a bit. Um, I'm thinking maybe 10%, um, it's, it's down there, maybe eight or 10. You know, something to think about, I love blooming trees, but I'm thinking about my magnolia tree at my house mm -hmm. and it has beautiful blooms on it, but I'm telling you when those blooms fall off, mm -hmm. it, they make a mess. I mean, a mess to the point where you have to, like, it's real close to my sidewalk and everything. They get real they just get ugly and you have to rake them up all the time. So I even though why I want, I want, I think definitely we want some blooming trees. We need to be careful. I'm not sure. I didn't pay any attention on the lilac trees over here on the side when they're the blooms. Mm -hmm. I didn't notice any. Oh, that's a, yeah, yeah, that'd be good. Small. Yeah. I've heard yeah. really good things about um service berry. Yeah, tree. Mm -hmm. Heard a lot of good things I about service. Really promoted the service berry. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So we just so planted some. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. How do I get this back on? The home button. Was it? Oh yeah. Thank you. Okay. So all, <laughs> are all the trees that we're gonna all the street trees all over town? Are they all going to be the small tree? They have to be a small tree. Yes. And there's 19 of them? Yeah, there'll be 19 on Franklin Street. Yes. And then we'll have the 20th one at the school. Um, but yeah, and that is the thing too about small trees. A lot of them are blooming. Um, when you get into those non blooming trees, they're usually medium to large. Yeah. We did have a request uh, for one of the residents uh, for a ginkgo tree mm -hmm. in the right of way. And they did years ago plant a ginkgo tree, yeah. the male one that doesn't have a right. smell. I was and in like, on that one. <laughs> but yeah. then there was that one that snuck in that wasn't. <laughs> yeah. It, it wasn't there. <laughs> they're, just, they're actually one of the largest trees. Yeah. And so I. I felt bad that I had to tell them we could not yeah. accommodate that, but mm -hmm. they did like the auto service well, maybe, maybe they can have one in their yard. Right? Yes, and that's what we said. Yeah. Yes, yeah, because they are they're they're about one of the oldest trees. Mm -hmm. They have these yeah. implant plants in rocks and stone from millions of years ago that has ginkgo leaf on it. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, wow, and the see. ginkgo leaf is pretty. There's nothing, there's no leaf that looks like a ginkgo. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've never heard of the city sprite, Zelcora. Yes. That's they, a beautiful it tree. Is. They said, I, yes, I agree. And yeah. he sent that to me last. And I never heard of it either. And he said that they just got them in. He said, because I told him I would email him tomorrow, whatever we decided. Mm -hmm. And he said, you'll be fine. But I was like, I love these. So count us in probably for wow. a couple of those but uh, you know we might think pretty. about that zocora that does it doesn't bloom mm -hmm. but it has beautiful fall mm -hmm. foliage mm -hmm. yeah. and you could mix that in with some of the blooming trees yeah and they yes. would look i think that would mm -hmm. and so he was pretty gung-ho about this tree yes he was he said not trying to uh oh, you know make that. things or complicate things or confuse you even more you know kind of thing but i wanted to share this tree with you uh, i've uh, never even heard of it before and but... we could always you could choose more of the non-blooming trees just to have a little bit more um you know variety there mm -hmm. um so it, but he did say that those are pretty much um there was one that looked more bush like, he said, but he felt like those are the only two non blooming small trees that they have mm -hmm. coming First in. Or suitable have street trees. I don't know if a little star beside the Sikora. Okay. But I, I'm like you, I kind of think we could kind of mix some, like the hornbeam and the Zakora in, since they're non blooming, we could mix mm -hmm. them in. Yeah. 19 trees on the street you could mix you could mix all these in together and it would it'd be beautiful yeah i know i want to live on right i know <laughs> it, it really would be beautiful we need more trees on water street too yes. mm -hmm. yeah and we could make sure and plant them to where the like the fall colors don't they look wow. too good they yes. yeah 
yeah. you know, clash with each mm -hmm. other. That's what I thought. I wanted to kind of lay out what they look like in the fall. Well, any of these fall, if you just look at that side, they're, they're beautiful. Really really good. Clash. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's all autumn colors, you know, even the red bud with, when it turns that. Yeah, those purple yeah. looks like, yeah. Yes, yeah, that's in the summer. In the fall, it turns yeah. yellow and orange. Now on this, um, did he say anything about the Sergeant Cherry, about bearing fruit? Um, let me... It's down at the bottom there. Look at his... Uh... Oh, yes, you are right. Fruit ripens uh, June, July. Sorry about that. I did not put that on. I there. just think okay. we need to be careful if it's on the fruit bearing stuff. Yes. He did say that any of the fruit uh, bearing trees would, you know, not be stained or they hold on. They don't have a lot of droppings. But sorry about that. I did. Oh no, that's okay. About that. I just had to see the idea. cherry part of it. And I thought, yeah. But you know, it is good bird fruit food too. The birds mm -hmm. love to eat that kind mm -hmm. of stuff. Um, gosh, this is a hard decision. The, the the pink flowers on that pink mist is gorgeous. It's kind of like a long stem mm -hmm. of kind of light pink and dark pink shades in there that uh, gorgeous. My tree would be bare if I want to cut them off and send them yeah. in the house. <laughs> so you have to think about Franklin Street like this and then think what spring, you know, like pink. No flowers, right? Why? Why? Yeah. I mean, if they're yeah. all kind of going to work together. Yeah. There. yeah. I think and they, in the fall, yeah. I don't think it matters because I think they all look good. Yeah, they'd all be fall. beautiful. Yeah. I know just from experience that those lilac trees out here have really turned out well. I think I'd like to see out of 19 trees, I'd like to see at least one mm -hmm. of those down the street, maybe two there on Franklin. Because we know that they're pretty, and they seem to have really grown. Yeah, they have. Yeah, yes. fast. Yeah, yeah, they they've done really well. No one wants the park did really well. Um, you, I mean, you would have anywhere, you know, kind of split up evenly, two to three mm -hmm. per species. But if there's a species that you're concerned, we'll mm -hmm. mark it off, and we'll off. just shorten off and it shorten yeah. the list. Because we got nine to choose from. There's yeah, there's nine. And if we chose one of each one, that'd be eighteen. Eighteen, and we just have to figure out one yeah. of the tree. But if we want to cross one off, or you mean two of each one? You mean, or yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We have two of each kind. Yes. Then yeah. one more tree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If there's one yeah. we don't want at all. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And if you want more of the non-blooming uh, trees, you know, you can put three of those, and then. Yeah, yeah. three of those. Here. Yeah, three of those and two of the of the, of the each of the well, other. the first yeah, block, we'll the first block off of State Street on Nancy's side. Uh -huh. There's only two trees there before you get to the alley. But then from the alley across High Street, there's almost it's, it's got to do something. Yeah, go ahead. We talked about yeah. yeah. It is very unfortunate that most uh, northern end of the west side right. of Franklin is gasoline. Yeah. All through both those two islands, right down the center. Mm. They won't let us touch that. Um, and then on the south end, on the east side, um, by Taylor, mm -hmm. <clears throat> there's already a tree that's existing that they were able to keep. And then there's an island that a resident has already planted mm -hmm. um, trees there. So if, if they come and say they see the tree planting, we want a tree and they want to remove one. We just don't have a room right. to do it. We wouldn't mind. You know, well, we those two it. on the east side in the first block, mm -hmm. I think it's important to remember that they, people that are coming into town from the west head of the east, mm -hmm. we need to put real showstoppers there because those are going to be visible. Yeah. People go through the town. Right. So I don't think we should put uh, a tree that doesn't. Well, in, that, in that area. It's mm -hmm. a good idea. Yeah. And then if we had one tree that does not bloom in every section that it shows on our little map, uh, that would be three. Kind of, it, it kind of 
kind of in the middle, so it yeah kind of kind separates of the blooming trees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I think we don't want non-blooming trees there. And I don't know about so that's the south end, right? Right. That's down there by Nancy's, right? Nancy's, no. Nancy's at the north end on State Street. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is down okay. at Taylor. There's Elm. But do you, you said there's already existing tree they're keeping at the south end. Do you know what it is? Um, or what the one is that somebody already planted? The one that somebody planted is not a street tree. I don't think. It's kind of a, it's covered. The last time I was there, it's, it's still kind of covered in plastic. Um, so I know they're kind of protecting it with all the construction. And everything. Oh. So, um, but it almost looks like a tiny-ish, oh. tight, very good. Yes. Yeah. So we could use some with color down there. Yeah. So I, I would, you know, I would love, you know, for them to express interest, but we're being called yeah. on that right now. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, like I said, we could always add. Yeah. Well, I think that's. I think okay, we've got, we've got nineteen trees. That need to be planted and we've got nine trees here so like you said have two of each with the exception of the ones that don't bloom have three of the ones is that what you said well if we did one two three in the in these areas mm -hmm. like in the center of the street you know, just yeah kind of older, like right the first area here and next one right next one here right that makes sense to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we just want two blooming ones down there that are going to look good together fall yeah. and spring. Like a, like a white one and a pink one. Yeah. Yeah. Good idea. That would be pretty. Like a, like the silk lilac and the, let's see, silk lilac and the, I can't think of it. Either got the red bud yeah. or the cherry. Yeah. Either one would be fine, I think. That cherry is awful pretty. It is. In summer and or spring mm -hmm. and fall. I love the way they're. Yeah, how about down there? Have a, the ivory lilac tree and the sergeant cherry tree down there where we just have two that would be great which we'll say that again down, down, there. down there on the then in the fall it'll be like this yeah mm -hmm. those will look yeah. is that do you think that'd be all right the uh, uh, ivory silk mm -hmm. lilac tree and the pink mist sergeant cherry and the, and the, the snow crab and, and yellow and that yeah together but they all look they pretty. all they're just all so yeah. pretty I, They're thinking that um, maybe that second uh, grouping there on the east side of Franklin, where there's three trees, have one that's non blooming there. Mm -hmm. and, and as far as, because uh, I've was going to also run by you all as far as selection. I mean, there have been a few comments about do we want to give Franklin Street residents the option. The only concern that I have is not everyone gets a tree doesn't quite fit, you know, with the utilities mm -hmm. right in front of their home, um, but also, you know, accommodate one, but then someone else yeah. doesn't get their preference yeah. and we don't want to have same tree right. in a row, yeah. you know. Um, so, uh, so, but I didn't want to be the one to make that final decision. I want that to be a board decision. Well, I think much as I'm all for freedom, 
<laughs> and think if you want this project to look good, which we do, obviously. Sometimes I don't want to sound, I don't want this to sound nasty, but sometimes people's choice of street trees. <laughs> Trying to be so different. <laughs> but sometimes their choice of street trees is not what they recommend as street trees. Mm -hmm. So um and that has that has a I mean the trees that you plant have a big impact on down with, with a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So and with it being a street tree. Well, I'm just kind of jumping around. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I don't know. I'm like you. If you let one person have the tree, mm -hmm. the kind of tree they want, then why can't all of them say what they want? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. And we have a way of giving them the list and saying, is there one that you can absolutely not live with in your yard? And then that way we know at least they don't want, you know, the cherry tree and they can find mm -hmm. any other tree and we can work around that way. Yeah. Yeah. So that way they have the tiny yeah. 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 It's better than it just, would be, it would be better than here's this tree. Yeah. It would be like, yeah. yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Little, yeah. I mean, we can go ahead and say that, you know, list your top three choices. Um, no guarantees we'll do our best to accommodate mm -hmm. um you know we just need to want to make sure that and then we can the jiggle them around yeah. according to and the, then like you know, said yeah. is there a certain species that you know they don't want you know and the only i guess i could see them not you know they you know may come back and say oh the seed or the fruit you know thinking they're not understanding the trees either because there's just a lot about mm -hmm. trees that Right. You have the same name, but it could be a whole different look or exactly. <laughs> different. Uh, and some uh, people may just want a, a tree that doesn't bloom. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, and I know the guy that lives next to Nancy. Uh -huh. I mean, I don't know him, but I know well enough that he would really like to have input on what tree goes. In the the one that lives on the corner of the big rock. Have to get rid of the big rock. The big rock. Oh, so he lives. Does he live on the corner of uh -huh. state? Oh, no. I think he would appreciate being able to have him. So, which one is Nancy? A second one. house. Oh, well, okay. so this is the first house that faces Franklin. The corner house faces State Street. Okay, yes. Okay, so she is the second house. So, the, okay. the first one and Nancy, okay. I think they would both like to have some say so. Okay. Yeah, yes. I know Nancy. Um, I don't know these other. Nancy. Is that is? Uh, well, so I could actually, I'm trying to pull that up. Yeah. Which one Nancy wants a service fair. All right. Yeah. So she didn't say that. Good. So I said, uh, you know, we've. Good. Uh, we got one little bit happy. A, uh, <laughs> there we go. A bloom. So that would be a white bloom. But maybe go a pink bloom or something for that first tree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, okay. But I was trying to, yeah. Remember which one was hers? Yeah, so we we I just think she liked like the red bud to go with it. Like that. Boy, that looked pretty. She has a little red bud in her front yard. Oh, she does. Uh huh. With the purple, oh. purplish leaf. Well, then maybe she needs a cherry tree. Yeah. And a service fairy. Oh no, she just gets one. It's the guy next to her. Right. Right. Grigsby, I think. So. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's Grigsby. Right. Yeah. yeah. Jim. 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 So what do you think the cherry tree was that why you did it for the gym? I don't know. I think he would appreciate being able to. Yeah. 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 Okay. So what I could do is I'll just work up letters to send out, um, ask that they could either, you know, contact or my, my found 
jacket on or, or you know, yeah. door to door, it might be yeah. quicker and easier for them. You, know, you are so that. good. Yeah. Uh, I can <laughs> show them this. And <laughs> it'd be I'd easier. Be glad to go with you. Yeah. I'd be glad yeah. to go with you. Yeah. Well, we'll do that. Door. I don't. Let's just let us plan on doing that. Yeah. Um, how about next week? Um, we don't have any meetings. That's why I was thinking. I mean, we have other meetings. We don't have like evening meetings. Um, I mean, not that we have to go in the evening. We can go during the day. But um, I'm good for Wednesday. That would be my best day next week is Wednesday. Okay. Uh, once I get back in town, I'm usually back in town by four thirty. Do I do because I, I know Thursday evening I've uh, got a reception thing to go to. Um, but oh, that I was thinking of something Wednesday, but that's four. Um, it, so do I do Wednesday at 4 30? That works for me. Or do you want five? Let's say five. Five. Okay. okay. All right. Meet. Where are we going to meet? Um, well, we could either be here and we can. Down, down there. there. Is that how about if we would park at the Methodist Church? Yeah, and walk yeah, we'll just meet at the Methodist Church. Want to do that? Nearest parking lot. Yeah. Okay. Are you coming? Sure, I'll come if I don't have anything on my calendar. Okay. Wednesday. I'm so, oh, okay. oh, you're. I work in Wednesday, but okay. Any other day? If you guys need to look next day, if you didn't get to all of them, I could do Monday or Tuesday if we wanted to start. Okay. Some. I have, pick up from there. I'll have to check my calendar, but usually I don't have. Much in the middle of the week. So I forgot we I do have, have a rain that. date too. Yeah. Yeah, well, like, we may have to have a rain date. Yeah, I know. It's like, stay dry. Um, I do have a couple meetings. I forgot on the 22nd, the RFPQ got, uh, we mm -hmm. have an extra meeting Monday for the aquatic center. So Tuesday works for me and then Wednesday. So those two nights would work. So I know I can't work on Tuesday. I mean, I can't go on Tuesday because I almost always work on Tuesday. But it's up to you guys. Yeah. Is that okay, Julia? If we when we do Wednesday and if we have others, we'll reschedule or we have a rain date or yep. do you want yep. us to? Yep. Perfect. Um, yeah, that would be fine. Um, I will put the doing it, but like I said, I work Wednesday. Do we have any kind of identification? Anything we could um, have like a something? I'll, I'll figure something up. Yeah. So, I mean, so I'll probably wear my jacket. We've, we've got our town ID. I'll see if they have more of those little badge type things that oh, we'll figure out. Just, you know, some people don't open their door. Right. So I'll just put it, yeah. I'll just do Pendleton Urban Forestry of some sort. Yeah. Okay. And we could put it out on the town website that yeah. Urban Forestry members are going to be on Franklin Street. So at least they, they might have a heads up. Is that date the 24th? That yeah, would be more likely to open it or more likely to go somewhere. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 While I'm thinking about it, I don't know if I'm going to be here for the next meeting or not. What What's the date for the next meeting? The 15th of September. Um, I think I might be in Wisconsin. Up north of Madison. Okay. Yeah, I know. I love Wisconsin. Yeah, it's on the Lake Wisconsin. River, Wisconsin River, whatever it's called. It's a, a real nice cabin. I know it is. It's just so nice and peaceful. So we'll meet on the 24th at the Methodist Church then. Yeah. And then we'll okay. so I'll put the web and go. Okay. Yeah. And I think, good. you know, if we, most people are very reasonable. And if you just, I don't think a lot of people realize that that is actually a town right away type thing yeah and you know they have to be careful you know the kinds of
trees that are planted there. And I think we just, you know, just, just let them know that, you know, at least this is a street tree area, you know, amongst the town. We're, we'd like to give you a choice on what trees, these street trees might emphasize. Street <laughs> trees. Yeah. Um, we have some here and we, you can, you know, pick out what ones you like and make a, we can make a list, your top three and I'll do the best we can. Yeah. yeah. And my, I think most people are real recent. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we should just give a little sheet. Or like that's a fair pretty towel drafts and one, two, three. three. Yeah. yeah. And, that'd then, be good. and then a tree that's a no go. Yeah. 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 Can we have things. more of these to give them? Yeah. Yeah. I'll make copies okay. of that and then have a sheet and then. That way they'd be more, uh, they'll remember better to right. fill it out. It's uh -huh. right there. Yeah. 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 Okay. Sounds like a plan. And then definitely when we come to the time of planting, we'll definitely give you that date. Um, I'll work with uh, Rick Boland and we'll figure out if he wants to do it late September or early October, whatever works best for you. We'll get those trees in and that's now. that'll be nice yes. to get that done. Yeah. That's gonna look so nice. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. Mm -hmm. And yeah. those a lot of the houses along there are, are really looking nice since the tornado mm -hmm. and everything. Yeah. They mm -hmm. they really managed to get they just look nice. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, these trees here will be another with their new curves and yeah, um, yeah, the street and everything. The street departments are working on trying to get the island looking better, yeah, you know, with the weeds and grass. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay, well, I'll do that. I will get some badges worked up, uh, a sheet for each house, um, and then have copies of this, uh, of the pictures and images, mm -hmm. and we'll just go door to door and catch as many as we can. So, good. Okay. And then I'll put That's it on good. the web as well. Uh, all right. Um, I will reach out to Bill tomorrow, um, giving him an idea that we're looking at maybe three each of the non-blooming couple of the other, uh, and confirm that he doesn't need anything locked in now until after we talk to the rest of them. Uh, so I'll put him on that. So, so got that. And then... Uh, I hope these are all available. Okay. 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 And then we have uh, so, uh, for new business. Question now, I forget. Um, Arbor Day. So for Arbor Day, we need to do an Arbor Day celebration that can take place any time of the year. I just need to plant at least one tree in honor of Arbor Day. And we are going to work with Pendleton Elementary School again. Um, we did it last year, and I think it would be a perfect uh, tradition to keep it going. I know Julia had talked to Eric Schill, the principal, got things going. And, um, and then when we planted the tree, they expressed the interest of having a tree planted along the exterior, the perimeter of the playground to give shade mm. for the kids. Yeah. So we're going to plant another tree. I think it's Nathan, I think it's named Nathan Hall, uh, if I believe, I think that might be correct, but he's part of the maintenance. The maintenance yes, yeah, that's right. Nathan Nathan Hall. Hall. And so he's calling and locates. It takes a little bit longer for them, but they feel like they'll have it already done and back. Um, by September the 29th. He really would like to get it in before the end of September. So it's okay. too cold. Last mm -hmm. year was a little cold. Yeah. Cold. And, yeah. Uh, so um, at two o'clock, he said that two o'clock would work out better for their schedule. And it falls on a Thursday afternoon. So I know that not everyone will be able to go, but if you're free and can come at two o'clock that afternoon, um, that would be great. Uh, can kind of be there to help. Uh, plant the tree with the street department. They do pretty much all the hard work, hard work but yeah. uh, we just talk about trees. But I uh, want to do a couple things a little differently. He wasn't quite for sure as far as the accommodation in the gym or cafeteria and talking with them. They have a pretty tight criteria and schedule that they've got to get things mm -hmm. knocked out. Right. But uh, hopefully we'll have good weather that we'll be able to talk and 
we, we can have them, they kind of circled around the tree last year. I think we'll mm -hmm. just have them sit a little bit differently to where we're not kind of having to turn around and, mm -hmm. and talk, but uh, he said it didn't matter to him. That just kind of just on a whim just happened that way, I think. Mm -hmm. And um, so, uh, but what I'd like to do a little bit differently this, this year, last year, I was thinking we had to teach how to plant a tree and kind of walk through those processes um, to meet those criteria for our Tree City USA, but we don't. Uh, we just needed to celebrate Arbor Day. So okay. I'd like to give some history and how Arbor Day was uh, originated and kind of what all that was about. So just kind of sharing some words on that and then also just talk about the benefits of the tree. The kids really like to chime in of, oh, this was, you know, the benefit that they give or that, and um, to have some way that they can interact in on the presentation, I think we'll keep to that as well. And then we'll kind of just plant the tree, but won't really talk about the details of how we plant the tree. By that point, they were, you know, ready to roll. And, um, but Matt Spitzen from at ADF, he is in with the ACT program. So the ACT program is something that he's gonna get more information back to me about communities that really want to inspire their community members with urban forestry. And so giving us, I let him know that we are gonna be working with fourth graders. And if there is any type of specific exercise or a, a pamphlet or a printout or an activity that would be geared towards fourth graders, then, uh, you know, we would love and appreciate if you could share it with us and then we can either give it to them that they can do before they go into the presentation. Um, you know, if not, they could take it home, but thinking something that they have some downtime that the teacher can get their brain starting to think about it. And then fourth graders are pretty smart. They days. are. They Remember are that, smart. Julia, mm -hmm. you were there and Carol were there last year and this one boy, oh my goodness. I thought you need to get up here and see. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I was sitting here thinking about? And if you guys don't think it would work, I won't be, I won't be mad at you sick. They're they're gonna be fourth graders. So wouldn't it be kind of neat to say um, somehow work out the year they're gonna graduate from high school okay. and make it make that their tree and to for them to think about, you know, come back and maybe have a when they're seniors in high school, it could it. it could be it could be the class of whatever. Yes. It's gonna be. Yeah, that, we, would, we would be able to tell within reason approximately how tall that exactly. tree would be. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. that would be kind of be their tree, and they would have, you know, yeah, they could be that's proud cool. of it. And I love that idea. That just gave me goosebumps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really yeah. cool. Yes. They yeah. used to have the tree at the high school every year. They paint it. They cut it down. Yeah. Every, the Michaela had it. Yeah. The, that class tree, class yeah. of whatever. Yeah. yeah. Well, they could mm -hmm. probably paint it in the spring of their senior oh, year. Oh, yeah. Some yeah. old yeah. elementary yeah. kids. Yeah. Elementary kids like to go uh -huh. to their respective elementary and take pictures. Uh -huh. and yeah. Go there. That would yeah. be cool. That would but be they could cool. take a picture of them now you know mm -hmm. in fourth grade yes. and yeah then come back to come back mm -hmm. new pictures I like that. Yeah. yeah that's awesome that is so fun um talking about the tree species i asked if you had a preference on that mm -hmm. and he said how about a northern red oak well that was what we planted last that's what i thought <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's what it's i thought well okay maybe he just really loves northern red oak so let him all around so i did go ahead and ask uh bill if he could look at his inventory of finding another oak tree. So maybe if he prefers oak trees, they are large and they do give a lot Lots of shade. shade Lots and of shade. They live a long time. So um, so I thought, it, I haven't heard back on that one, but once he gives me a list of what they have available in oak trees, I thought about presenting it to Eric, the idea of having one, a different oak tree, mm -hmm. maybe, you know, around that perimeter as the next years go on. So. But yeah, I love that idea, Jeanette. Mm -hmm. That's so awesome. what would they what be when they graduate? This is 23. Oh boy, well, I'd have to. Eight years. The class of 2030. Okay, yeah. yeah. Wouldn't that be yeah, right? Quick. I think that's right. Would that be right? I don't know. Uh, Jake, or maybe 30, 31 or 2031. Jake's 2025. He's a sophomore. I think six years. Is that right? Yeah. 
The end when school's over with this year, it's going to be 2023. 20, 20, yeah. so, so in the fourth grade, they're 2031. So it would be 2031. 2031. They have 30 eight more years. Yeah. 2031. Yeah. 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 That would be really cool. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, we have to be sure and get good pictures with the group. Yes. 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 And I think treatment. last year they were going to go back because they were cold and they're going to go back and get a group picture, but then but it getting cold. Exactly. So yeah, we'll just have to do that. And then make right sure that first. we save it yes. so we can use it in eight years. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, that's that's a cool idea. And that'd be great, something great to post on our Facebook page. Yes, yes, yes. yes. All these yeah. All these things are we'll, we'll have plenty of material. I'm calling Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. That's true. So um Yep. So that was that's all I have right now. Um, so save the date on that, September the 29th at two, and okay. um, I'll keep working on the education piece. If there's something that we can incorporate uh, to give the students, whether before we come, yeah. or, yeah. there's there's a lot of stuff so, out if there. If not, we can yeah. do. Well, I just don't want to take anything that's copyrighted and uh, right. the right. RNA Foundation is wonderful. Yeah. So, yeah. Or cancel it. So yeah. Okay. Um, the last thing on new business is that uh, uh, this is going to remain anonymous, uh, but uh, I had a conversation with someone uh, from the town and they're going to give a donation to our urban forestry account. Oh. They said uh, uh, at least uh, what I was told was at least 500. So All I'm right. very excited, kind of asked, you know, what projects that we have coming up and talked about the Franklin Street, the school planting mm -hmm. with the uh, Arbor Day celebration. Um, and then kind of talk a little bit about the stormwater and then talk about Facebook page. And so really excited them and mm -hmm. said that uh, they wanted to, they, they'd get it to Dawn in the clerk's office upstairs. I've not yeah. got confirmation that it's uh, been deposited, um, but once I do, um, nice. I would like mm -hmm. to bring in a thank you card for us mm -hmm. to yeah. Yeah. all to sign and we'll get that to the individual. So, That's nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, really, yeah. Oh, yeah, awesome thing. So another thing is, is that I uh, dropped off some, uh, oh, the full leaf award and some documents to Tammy Bowman before our meeting tonight. And we we're talking about the urban forestry and talking about the uh, program, you know, for next year. And um, there has supposed to be another individual that kind of expressed interest to giving for the benefit of trees of some sort, mm -hmm. but uh, she said definitely to keep her posted for a program like that or other programs mm -hmm. because they would like to, you know, keep what options that they could have to help us out. So, mm -hmm. whether, and I know Sue and Tammy did a phenomenal mm -hmm. job with that tree recovery oh, project yes. and coordinating volunteer groups and all that, and so I'm sure they'll be involved in stuff like that. Yeah. So, but yeah, I'll let you know. It may not be until our next meeting um, that uh, I'll have that card or, you know, that mm -hmm. we'll, make, you know we'll get that signed. So the only thing um, else, so we have a few things, just keep in mind the Arbor Day on the 29th of next month, uh, Memorial Tree Plantings, talk to Aaron. Uh, he said they don't have a date yet, but they will be planting some Memorial Trees this fall. So he said that as soon as they are closer, it'll probably be September, October as well for them. But he would keep us posted. And Are they still planning on 10 trees a season? That's what, yes. Okay. Yeah. I wonder if they, they probably already got 10. I know they do. They've got people who've been waiting for two seasons. Yeah. 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 And I knew with the, uh, with the playground, I know they've had a lot going on and busy. And he said, but no, they, they still were planning on planting, you know, the trees from the water mm -hmm. tree program. So which is good. So kind of help with the loss of trees there. And but yeah, I'll let you know as soon as I find the date on that. Um, let you know as far as the dates with the Franklin Street. And then, like I said, if you have any ideas or content uh, that you would like to have on the Facebook page, don't hesitate to email it to me or send it, drop it off, whatever, and uh, we'll get that rolling. And, kind of give a little plan between us and Reese and get that going the first of September. So, and there's only one other thing I have. Um, Hannah has been 
doing an amazing job going through all of our old records. Uh, this is all upstairs. Uh, we've had records that have been here for a long time. Uh, from from <laughs> signs to plaques to drawings to, I mean, everything. So she's been working with the state, the clerk's office to find out what we can and what we cannot dispose of. There's certain things you have to hold for three years, five years, mm -hmm. seven years, 10 years, you know, and so forth. Um, plaques are not one of them, but she wanted me to ask you all, and she said, I just don't want to throw these away. A lot of, you know, other things kind of had, you know, been, you know gotten rid of um, that aren't going to be of use, but she wanted you all their tree city usa plaques that I guess apparently they used to make yeah. years ago oh. yeah so we have this and then there's one i think in 97 and then in 94 i believe we were another gold leaf award yeah. so if it's something that you feel that we should hold on to if you need them or something we can um or if you feel that they're not necessary to hold on to I hate she wanted, stuff like I know. That. I am I am honestly a horror on stuff like that. So <laughs> I am I too. Am yeah. terrible. I said, oh Hannah, good thing you're taking lead on this because I wouldn't do good. <laughs> I think we could use some extra music. I, yeah, I think okay. so too. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. We we don't have any room there either, but those well, are the kind yeah. of things you just can't. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. And it's something that's different, you know, it's yeah. like a different part of the history of it. Right. So, exactly. Okay. And there'll be people that'll say, oh, wow, you they've been involved that long. Yeah. Yeah. I thought this one was really cool. That, we'll that is. Like, I didn't know that we yeah. were. A yeah. That yeah. That is a good one. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Uh, and then how, how it changes, you know, like this year was the state of Indiana that would be fun. Yeah. So, we've got yeah. space. We've got wall yeah, space. We've got yeah. wall space. Mm -hmm. We've got some duplicates of things on some of those walls. Yeah. I think that would be a perfect place for that. But now that wall cabin's there. As you come in and the staircase goes up, uh -huh. it would be a perfect place to come in and that is to draw uh -huh. your oh, eye. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not taking up any other display space. It'll be easy for Ken to put it on the wall. Ken can do anything. So is this something that you want? Should I give this to Nancy or what? Oh, I can I can take it home and give it to Vice President. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we'll see what kind of reaction we have from Nancy. But yeah. I think okay. she, I think she'll sure be fine. Well, that excites me. That makes me very, very happy that they'll find a home and yeah, because yeah. So now we don't have to throw them away. You get exactly. out there. Just I just take yeah, field trips. Yes, yes. I hate them with all the I hate Blue. throwing stuff like that away. Yeah. I do too. I, I have my old high school notes and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever read them? I'm like, no, but I might need them. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, you never know. But that's all. Um, that's all I have. Um, oh, I guess we better. Think, um, yep. That's all the meaning. Uh, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Now, do, do I just say anything about it? I don't have anything else to you. They have nothing else. Okay. Okay. So, meeting adjourned. There okay. we go. All right. Thank you, ladies. Right. Thank you. Oh, gosh. This felt good.